All right, what's up, guys? Not much. Um, as you can see by the title, we got our intercooler pipe stuff from last time welded up. Welds look pretty decent. Not the best, but they work. Um, yeah, so intercooler pipe looks good. And two, like, I also just noticed this. This isn't a lot of intercooler piping for a car. Like, if you only have one run, like, this is my hot pipe, this is my hot side, and then this is my cold side. I really don't have that much intercooler piping in the entire car. So, obviously your blow-off valve doesn't go on your hot side. So I got the blow-off valve right there, and then I got the, uh, what is that? The K-tuned adapter piece, yeah, shit-tuned uh, adapter piece. Um, I guess that's like for the uh, IATs going in, because I wasn't going to weld this on there. I kind of got that like last minute, um, just because I was... I was kind of worried about with the MR2, with the intercooler being in the trunk and all, like, what are my IATs going to be like, you know? So I figured, let's just get the piece, put it on there, and then, you know, we can see, you know, check out our temps and everything, too. We got our big boy exhaust welded up. That weld looked good. Those two welds are already there, and so is that weld at the bottom. But this weld looks good. Same thing with our O2 bungs we welded onto the side, so we can, uh, I guess, get our O2 readings. And then last but not least, we welded this on here, this uh, good U-shaped pipe. So I guess you guys really don't care about the welds and how they came out. And you guys just want to know how it looks in the car, because I'm curious too. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is this, because um, I didn't cut this the best, to be honest with you. And um, it may not fit because remember, we already drilled a hole in the back of the car. So if this doesn't fit or if it's like, you know, slightly kicked off because we welded it wrong, um, that's going to screw us up on the back of the car. So hopefully, hopefully this fits. So all right, let's go ahead and uh, roll this stuff in the car. But looks clean, looks nice. All right, so as you can see, inner cooler piping is in. Look at that fitment, boy. Come on down, come on back and around. Through the inner cooler, back up and around, into turbo. So that looks good. So the problem is everything looks good. So I was like, man, well, now the inner cooler piping fits. Let's go ahead and throw the exhaust on. Hold on, what the? Whoa! Man, what, the, what are you doing with the exhaust? Well, the problem is, I thought that I could slide it through. You know, mistake number one, you know, fabrication mistake. Make sure you assemble all the parts before you weld them up because now I can't get the exhaust through that hole and this hole. <laughs> okay, well, hold on, never mind. I could, I could get it out. What I could do is I could drop the engine, slide the exhaust in, put the engine back in, and then put the exhaust on. So that's the problem, is our exhaust does not fit. Now, how are we gonna do this? Should we just leave it like this, guys? Does that look pretty cool? Just have, you know, straight pipe. Hold on, let's get back a little bit. Let's back up a little bit. What about like that? I think that looks pretty cool. Like, that'll be just cool to be riding down the road, just wah, 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 shooting flames out of the top of the car. <laughs> um, I think that might work. So uh, I guess we can't leave it like that. That's not gonna work. Uh, looks cool though. Definitely would recommend. So, if you feel like we should leave it like that, either like down here or make a comment. So you'll leave your exhaust like that. Like that'll just be ball or just you know rolling coal, shooting flames out of the top of the MR2. So I guess what we need to do is let's say this: the cheap thing to do would just be to cut this, put a V-band clamp in the middle of it. And then just assemble the exhaust, because I'm pretty sure with the V, if I put the V-band like here, maybe it would work perfectly, no problems. Um, but the problem is a four inch stainless steel V-band, that's like 80 bucks. And I'm really not trying to spend 80 bucks. So um, what we are going to do is we are going to cut more out of here to see if I can get it in this way. So... Um, cause the thing is, this is going to be covered. There's going to be a plate covering that. So if this hole is pretty ugly, um, that would be okay. I don't want to cut that hole any more than I have to, but I guess it's either 
cut the hole bigger or buy a V-band. I don't want to buy a V-band, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut it more. If it doesn't work, then um, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll leave it out. And two, the only thing, the only problem is with this is like now I know I can drive like this, and I know me, I probably shouldn't know that because I'm going to try to drive it like this, like just roll out. Imagine getting gapped and then seeing like flame shoot out of the top of this while you're getting gapped like you know so the thing is like i can i can actually just hook it up like this so i could like once i get it this way if i just want to like hoon out one day i can just take off the v-band clamp right here and then just point it out of the freaking trunk and just drive around like that so who knows maybe we'll we'll drive around like this or something we'll try shooting flames i'm pretty sure it'll be cool to do it at night like just have the flame just gargling out of the top but uh yeah so let's go ahead and let's uh Let's cut some more and let's see if we can get this to fit. I hope so. All right. Guess what? Exhaust is out of the back of the car. Yeah. All right. So finished product. Not looking too bad. Look at that. Boom. I like. So, um... I didn't have to do too much cutting. Luckily, I just had to cut a little bit more out of that side, just trim that around. And then this side right here, I just took it and I just said one, two, three, and boom, slammed it through. Um, probably dented this up a little bit, but I don't care, it's in there. Um, and two, I can always remove it out now. So, in there good. Um, this will need to get cut flush when we figure out where we're at, we'll make some uh, lines here or something and we'll figure that out but as you can see everything else is in terp skis looking good need to get the intercooler i mean the blow off valve on there and everything and i guess next we need to fabricate some wastegate pipes can you see down here can i get you down there yeah you can our wastegate pipes so we need to get our wastegate pipes on there and then um I don't know. What do you guys want to do with the wastegates? I kind of think <sighs> either we can turn them up out, like we could come maybe like here, or we can just point them down because I don't really want to do this. It's this is too close to the motor. I want to at least, this is already too close to the motor. So if we come maybe here, well, I can either come up or down on that side, but as far as this one, on this side, what can we do? Yeah, this one's gonna be a pain. I think we're just gonna have to go down with the wastegates because reality is, if that comes out, getting back up, that's gonna be difficult. So, guess we'll go ahead and maybe go down with this one and maybe we'll option up and go up or down with the other one. But everything's in here, intercooler piping looks good, exhaust is done, I like how it looks. But, all right, guys, everything looks good. We'll go ahead and sign out. And I guess we'll go ahead and uh, finish up. I'm not sure what's next. I guess either wastegate piping or maybe we'll go ahead and throw the fuel lines on there and that. So, later.